What's up, my witches? Okay, so I'm doing another book review. This one's going to be on the Encyclopedia of 5,000 Spells by Judica Illis. She has a ton of amazing books. Um, so this is just one of them. And her books are generally, from what I've seen, they're huge. So this one is, is ginormous. It's, you know, like I said, the 5,000, uh, the Encyclopedia of 5,000 Spells. Um, I love this book. I have not probably gone through about a quarter of it. But it is a really, really good book. It has a ton of interesting spells that, well, I mean, it has 5,000 interesting spells. And it just ranges across all sorts of topics. So if you can think of it, it's probably, there's a spell for it in this book. Um, you know, I mean, gener it has the general, you know, spells like uh, health, love, um, wellness of body, mind, spirit kind of stuff. Um, justice spells, things like that. Like My pinky really hurts yanked back the other day ow so anyway it is a really 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 good book um i would highly recommend it it's really fucking expensive though it's uh let's see it was 34.99 i bought it brand new from books a million i should have gone online from what i remember seeing online it was about 17 dollars or so a lot of her other books online are all about, you know, that price range, you know, 15, 16, 17, maybe $20. And, you know, that's a hell of a lot less than 34, which I mean, even with my 10% discount, still not, st still not a good idea. You know, it's better to, you know, buy it used and Hey, you might get somebody else's, you know, notes on it. Um, mm, sorry. <clears throat> I think I'm like battling a seasonal cold right now. So anyway, um, this book is amazing. I really highly recommend it. Um, out of a 10 skill, I would give it a 10. Maybe like a 9.9 9 .9 if we're doing points. But, you know, I would give it a solid 10. 9.9 um, .9 if, you know, you buy it brand new because the price is kind of ouch. Even though it's a really big, really nice book. And you can kind of pass these books down because they're really interesting. And they have tons of stuff for everything. Um... And they give you multiple, or she gives you, sorry, not they. I don't know where she got all her spells from. Maybe it's her and a bunch of other people. I don't know. But um, she gives you a ton of different spells for everything. So, and and they're like each different in their own way. And some of them are like kind of continuations of each other. So, um, if you need to amp up your spell, she kind of has that for some of them. Um, but a lot of the spells, it was, um, you get different ways for each thing like maybe she pulled it from different you know areas continents whatever but a lot of the spells are, are different from each other so you know if you don't have the option of burning something you know she might have one that's in a bottle or something or if you can't get something that's in one of the spell list you know of course you can always adjust your spells you know I, I really recommend that always adjust your spells um, if you don't want to use white sage or if you're allergic to something or if you just can't get it because it's too fucking expensive like dragon's blood is really hella expensive so there are other options instead of using those expensive or allergic kind of items and you can always adjust your spells just make sure that they're about you know likeness not like in color or scent or anything but make sure they're likeness in what they do so you wouldn't use um, one herb that's mostly just for love when you're trying to do a protection spell, you know, unless you're trying to do a protection spell against somebody you love. I don't know. Anyway, so, you know, you, you would try to keep the herb that you're going to use instead of kind of along the same lines. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I think I am battling a cold right now. So I would recommend this book highly. Um, I would recommend it used, but if you want to buy it new, it's amazing. Um, actually, let me open it up and let you guys see what's inside. Um, and they have a lot of other stuff. Like, of course, they have all sorts of things for every different religion and uh, region and, you know, whatever you want to think of. It's probably in this book. She does have other spell books. Um, so these are kind of, I guess you would say, these are the, I'm going to put it over here. So these are kind of, these are kind of the big spells, the ones that take a while generally. Um, I think she has another book that says like 150 spells that you can do like right now. So instead of having to wait, you can just go ahead and do your spell. 
Um, I'm assuming they're much more simple. Um, I'm also assuming that, you know, they, they can go to work in a couple hours or something, maybe, you know, after you do them. Um, but yeah, for this book review, I would highly recommend it. It is an amazing book. I plan on if I ever have kids or if I ever have nieces or nephews that are into, you know, the pagan path or witchcraft or anything, I plan on passing it down to them. Hopefully my siblings will not burn my stuff when I die. <laughs> but anyway, no, so I would recommend this book. Um, I'm going to do, it's the Christopher Penzac, the, his temple series. Um, I'm going to do those next and we're going to start with the inner temple and why I'm going to do these next is because um, we went ahead and my group voted on it and we're going to do the inner temple to start with then I guess we'll do the outer temple and then probably do um, what was it the temple of higher power or something like that um, or we'll do the shamanic one which is generally more for individuals and not for group work from what I remember but yeah so you should uh, you'll be getting some of those and we're gonna do them in sections and hopefully see what happens so anyway bless be have a great day and goodbye